Good afternoon, colleagues. Um, thank you for joining me in this slight uh, small message regarding a debriefing of the impending pharmacy cuts. So what do we know? There are a number of factors which facts which have come through. One of them is that from December 2016 to March 2017, likely to be 2,500 pounds less in your in your payments each month. And next year, up to 1,500 pounds from your bottom line. Since the department wants to see most of this money taken in one chunk, it's likely to be from via the establishment payments. And obviously, this is going to disproportionately affect our smaller pharmacy members. There is a small glimmer of, um, uh, of services that, that's been allocated to us, but I don't think anyone needs to jump too high. It's um, not highly funded. Uh, it's a referral from NHS 111 uh, of patients to our pharmacy, but as I said, it's not going to be funded too, too well, so nothing too much that the department has given away there. Quite rightly, PSNC have rejected the proposals. And because of that, we're likely to see the terms being imposed on us shortly. So what's, so what's my view? As, I would, as you would expect, I think pharmacy is a critical resource. I think the problem was that really most of the discussions have gone on without any consultation or engagement from the department. And, and based on that, what the final conclusion that the department have come through is purely on ignorance. Community pharmacy is there to help the NHS reduce the cost burden. And it absolutely does not make sense to close pharmacies. Obviously, we still have time, and it's my sincere hope that the department will reconsider. So what, so what next? I think it's quite important that we don't give up. Write to your MP again today. And in fact, also write and, and lobby your patients. Writing to your MP, I've already done that this morning. Make sure that when you write on this occasion, you write something which is a bit stronger than previously. What I've put in one of my sentences, I didn't realize that the Tory party has been elected to close small businesses. Having said all that, we now need to plan to grow your business and make up for the shortfall. I think it's important that you, as leaders also in your own pharmacies, reassure your team. They would have heard about some of this news, but I think it's important that you talk to each member of your team individually and say to them, because they, you you'd have had staff that have been working there for a number of years, 10 years, 15 years. And I think it's important that you have a chat with them and say, you know what, we'll, we will work together and try and make sure that um, there aren't any negative effects in our, in our business. So how will Pharma Plus help? I think it's important that you attend uh, a number of seminars that we're, we're, uh, we're organizing on one on the 8th of November in the south and one on the 9th of November in the north. And this is to help create, we will be trying to explain how you can create more ways of growing your business via services, which is through NHS and, and private, deals and buying solutions. Do you really know what deals we've got set up for you? Marketing your pharmacy. You know what? Why don't you spend a bit of money? It might sound stupid, but spend a bit of money on your pharmacy to brand it and make sure that it stands out in your local community. There's always going to be the back office support and the professional support with our team at Pharma Plus. And please always contact us accordingly. The phone number is here and the email address as well. But as a final message, I think try to put things into perspective. Look, look in the bright side. Um, there are potentials there in terms of increasing your business revenue. And please, we are here to support you. Thank you for listening.